I have a little uh, interesting uh, device over here. Um, it's used for a microscope uh, and it's completely obsolete nowadays. You probably don't use these anymore. I got it a few years ago. I got it uh, uh, quite cheaply. Um, and uh, there is uh, a cover a covering missing over here. It doesn't matter uh, because it still works just as fine. Um, it is from Olympus. There's still the old Olympus logo um, here in front. Um, inside uh, the tube, you have a 45 degree mirror. It's kind of, I don't know if you can see it now, if I hold it correctly. There's a mirror uh, with uh, 45 degrees here. And uh, in front there is a matte uh, glass. And uh, yeah, what is this used for? Um, and I'm going to show you. This happens to be a viewing screen that you can put on the photo tube on the trinocular head, and uh, um, it uh, allows uh, allows you to view uh, whatever you're looking at uh, on the screen here um, using uh, the light uh, that uh, goes uh, through the photo tube, and the light is then uh, reflected by the diagonal mirror, and then um, the image is projected on the screen. And the opening here is necessary because uh, you need uh, to insert an eyepiece um, in here because the eyepiece is responsible for creating um, an image on the screen. I had uh, to turn off uh, the light uh, of the room so that you are able to see this. Um, it's really not very bright because you're using the, the light of the microscope. This is now a, a, a cross section of the tongue of a rabbit. Um, and uh, you can, if you make everything, if you make the room dark enough, you can uh, quite nicely observe um, the, the image on the screen. Um, the illumination is not quite even. Um, however, the advantage is, is that it is par focal. This means that uh, if it is uh, in focus, uh, if it's in focus on the screen, then it's also in focus uh, when you look uh, directly uh, through the eyepieces. Um, and uh, that is, uh, I think, a question of convenience, um, of course. Uh, but uh, the screen also allows, of course, multiple people um, to uh, to use the microscope. I can imagine that maybe doctors use this uh, if, when they were discussing um, biopsies and so on. Um, and it is, uh, yeah, um, it is uh, a, a very low tech. Uh, it's a very low tech uh, solution. Um, it is functional, but uh, as I already mentioned, it's quite obsolete because nowadays, of course, you would use um, a camera and a computer um, and a computer uh, computer monitor. I checked uh, the website uh, of Olympus and was able to find out that they used this logo until the year 1970. There's something that I want to show you that I really like um, on this system. When you uh, turn the tightening screw, then you can see that there is a, a metal collar that pushes against uh, the photo tube. So it's not that not, not like this that the screw directly um, pushes against uh, the photo tube, but uh, it pushes first against this collar, and this prevents the photo tube from scratching and from becoming damaged. I think this is a really good idea, um, and I think that uh, this is something that we should see more often because I've had uh, already attachment systems um, that uh, would then have scratched uh, the photo tube because the screw directly pushed against uh, the photo tube. Yeah, well, uh, this it was uh, pretty much it. Um, so here, a little souvenir from maybe, I don't know, 40, 50 or even 60 years ago, I don't know. Um, it would be interesting to uh, find out a little bit more about the manufacturing uh, date of this uh, projection screen. Um, I did then later see that, uh, and that's something that you cannot see in the video as well, but uh, the, the image uh, was actually more evenly illuminated uh, than it is seen on the video. In the video, you actually see that uh, there's a bright central spot, uh, but uh, if you uh, look at it directly, it actually the, the illumination is much more even and actually of a much higher quality, but still, not a, uh, of course, not as high of a quality as if you were to look directly uh, through the eyepieces or if you were to use a, a, a modern camera. Um, I'm kind of wondering why they're not, uh, why they're not, uh, making these uh, things anymore with a little camera. I mean, it would be quite easy to make, I guess. Put a little camera in here um, or some kind of a, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, CCD type of, of, of chip and then you have a little uh, computer maybe like the Raspberry Pi and uh, here a little uh, little screen LCD screen 
Um, yeah, that would be a possibility. Maybe, maybe that's a little uh, weekend uh, project or a holiday project. In any case, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I wish you a nice day and as always, happy microscopy.